What's up my fellow Earthlings? Thank you for checking out the Pixel app. I want to talk to you about LED lights in Cinema 4D today. Let's say that we wanted to add some LED lights to the front faces of our text. Now one way we could do this is to make a bulb and clone it onto the faces, and that would definitely be more realistic, but also kind of bogs things down, it's hard to work with. Um, so I'm going to show you a way to do it in the material channel, which is kind of a cheat, but it actually turns out pretty well. So let's make a new texture and let's disable everything but the luminance channel. Now we can add some tiles in the texture dropdown. Go to uh, surfaces and then tiles. And tiles come in as square by default, but we want circles. So if we go to the pattern dropdown, we'll change that to circles one. And now we just have to change the color. We'll change the red to just an off white and we'll make the gray a little bit darker. So now we have some dots. Let's increase the uh, grout width a little bit. That will space out the dots a little bit. And now we have some LED lights. Let's drop that onto the text and let's change the UVW mapping to cubic. And now we need to make them a little bit smaller. So maybe 30% on the length. And now you can see that we have some LED lights. And obviously these look pretty awful, but here's the trick. We set this up using the luminance channel and because of that, what we can do is go into our multi-pass. Let me delete that and show you where it is. Check on your multi-pass and then go out to multi-pass and use uh, material luminance. And this is a really, really handy multi-pass that I've been using a lot lately. So go ahead and set up your save paths so that you save out your multi-pass image as well. And we'll go ahead and click render. All right, now we have everything we need. Let's jump into After Effects. And if we import the multi-pass, this is what it's going to look like. It's a black and white image that just shows the luminance of the texture. So we're going to go ahead and drag that on top of our scene. And it doesn't have any alpha, so we have to change it from normal to add. And now you can see that we have our luminance channel right on top. And now all we have to do is add a glow or a trap code shine or something to that luminance channel and we'll be able to have these LEDs light up. So I've already kind of set that up. I have a few different options set up on here. I have a trap code shine and you can see that the trap code shine basically just punches out those highlights a little bit. That's gonna kind of prepare it so that we can have the After Effects glow. We'll put that on here. You can play around with the glow radius. That's the really nice thing about this technique is you have a lot of flexibility. And then we also have hue saturation and here's even more flexibility. You can change the different colors of the LED lights. And now if we go into shine, you can play around with the threshold. And if you kick that down, you can see that these LED lights turn off and then they turn on. You can animate this. You could go to the opacity and play around with that. Have it set at zero, go down a few frames, kick it up, go down a few more frames, take it down, up, down, and then end up at 100%. If we uh, animate that, you can see we'll have these LED lights sort of blinking on. So I find myself doing it this way. It might not be quite as realistic as making bulbs. Oh, geez, just went back to the 90s. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, it's a really cool technique. I find myself using this a lot. Another thing you can do is um, maybe mask this on so it looks like these LEDs are sort of filling up. There's just a lot of things that you can do now that you have this luminance channel. So when in doubt, use that luminance channel. It's going to give you lots of flexibility in post. That's it for me. I hope that you find this useful and you find uh, some new techniques out of this. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab, guys. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Bye.